everyone! Happy New Year! <laughs> we made it to 2021! Putting 2020 behind us is certainly something to celebrate, am I right? But we are also celebrating the start of a new month that will be a ton of fun. This month, we are talking about responsibility. Responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. Yes, this month is all about rules for life. We will find out some great rules we can follow that will bring lots of good things to our lives.
My weapon is a melody I raise a hallelujah Heaven comes to fight for me The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, Chapter 22, verses 36 through 40. The book of Matthew, the very first book in the New Testament, was written by, you guessed it, Matthew. Now, even though he was a tax collector and disliked by others, he became one of Jesus' followers. And years later, he wrote an eyewitness account of the things that Jesus said and did. For example, he tells us of the day that the religious leaders tried to trap Jesus with a trick question. Teacher, which is the most important commandment in the law? The religious leaders followed 613 different laws. They wanted Jesus to pick just one law so Jesus would get in trouble for leaving out the other 612 laws. But Jesus didn't fall into their trap. Instead, he took this opportunity to show everyone that following God doesn't have to be complicated. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. 
This is the first and most important commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Everything that is written in the law and the prophets is based on these two commandments. Now, Jesus wasn't saying that the other 611 laws were wrong. He was only saying that if you look at every choice in your life through the lens of loving God and loving others, you won't go wrong. If you love God and love people, you will fulfill all the other laws. It's truly that simple. Often, it's in our darkest times that we find the most amazing opportunities to show love to others. In the past year, due to COVID-19, we've seen a lot of people put themselves on the line to help others. Doctors, nurses, medical workers, but we've also seen grocery store cashiers and delivery workers put themselves at risk of getting sick. So each of us could have the food and supplies we need. That's love in a big way. And you know what? Young people and kids have stepped up too. In Reno, Nevada, a college student named Jade Powell recruited a few friends to help elderly people buy their groceries during the pandemic. Within a few days, the idea took off. More and more volunteers jumped in to help shop and drop off groceries on the doorstep of older individuals. Within weeks, shopping angels reached all 50 states and other countries too, all because one student saw a need and chose to stop and show God's love. Sometimes showing love to others only takes a few minutes. In Columbus, Ohio, Taryn, who is nine, and Calliope, who's six, knew their elderly neighbor loved classical music. Because she was in isolation and couldn't go out, they took a concert to her front porch. For 30 minutes, they played a private cello concert just to brighten her day. It was a simple and amazing way to show love to others. Let's look at one more story. In Portland, Oregon, a high school junior named Julia Lynn quickly realized that with school closed, some kids and families would not be able to get enough to eat. She put out the word online in her community, requesting food donations. Within days, she received over 400 responses. Julia picked up each donation herself, and with the help of the school student government, she set up distribution centers where families in need could pick up the food. In helping provide food to hungry people, Julia was clearly showing God's love in action. God loves us so deeply. He's done so much for us, it's our responsibility to take that same love and show it to others. As Paul reminds us in the book of 1 Timothy, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Also, set an example in how you love in what you believe. Don't wait for somebody else to go first. Now is your time. Now is your chance to love God by loving others. You never turn away, you never leave my side And every time I call your name out just to find That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what I'm facing I will trust you with my heart Trust you with my heart There are days when I feel I need a friend And then I hear your voice reminding me again That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start Trust you with my heart You are more than able To lead me through the dark Your love is never failing I will trust you with my heart Oh, I will trust you with my heart No matter what may come No matter what I go through God, you are Never gonna fail me I will trust you with my heart no matter what may come, no matter what I go through, God, you are.
never gonna fail me I will trust you with my heart You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what I'm facing I will trust you with my heart You are more than able To lead me through the dark Your love is never failing I will trust you with my heart you with my heart Our memory verse for this month is Luke 16, 10. Jesus said this to his disciples. Suppose you can be trusted with something very little. Then you can also be trusted with something very large. We don't have to wait to go first when it comes to loving others. It's something you can do right now. As followers of Jesus, we have a responsibility to love God by loving others. That's our first rule for life. It's what Jesus said is most important. Love God, love others. Let's talk to God and ask Him to help us do that. Dear God, thank you for loving us so we can know what it looks like to love others. We love you and we want to show how much we love you by loving others well. Help us see the needs of other people. Give us the courage to show love to them, just like you've loved us. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it for today. I hope to see you here next week. Bye. You are here
Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working.